uh, in the first question <coughs> we will have to find the seventh term of an arithmetic progression we are given with the first term which is 8 and we are given with the common difference which will be 5 minus 8 for arithmetic progression the common difference is second minus first term which will be minus 3 so the seventh term will be just like nth term is a plus n minus 1 d the seventh term will be 8 plus 7 minus 1 into d if I solve this further it will be 8 uh, 7 minus 1 is 6 6 into 3 is minus minus 3 is minus 18 so the term should be minus 10 our first answer is 4.1 d second question is 4.2 which states that uh, a minus b a and a plus b are in dash progression we have to find the progression now point to remember is that for a geometric progression second term divided by first term is equals to third divided by second term for arithmetic progression second minus first term is equals to third minus second term so if we uh, check these three terms for arithmetic progression our second term is a minus first term which is a minus b a minus a minus b is equivalent to b whereas a plus b or our third term this will be our first term this is second term this is third term a plus b or third term minus the second term is also equivalent to b therefore the progression is a arithmetic progression 4.2 b since the common difference is equivalent which is b 4.3 the sum of the series 1 plus 2 plus 3 dot 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 plus n is for any sum there are two formulas actually for an arithmetic progression sum um, depending that on uh, uh, the question we use the formula we know that this is an arithmetic progression since these two terms have a difference of 1 these two terms also have a difference of 1 therefore the and we also know the first term and we know the last term so we will use the formula for arithmetic progression in which we use the first and the last term which is half into n into a plus l and if we solve it, it by this formula it will be s is equal to half n is the number of terms and actually here the number of terms it will be equivalent to the original value since the first term has a value of 1 the second term has a value of 2 the third term has a value of 3 and therefore the nth term have a value of n so we can say half into n into a a is our first term which is 1 plus l l is the uh, last term which in this case is n so if you solve this it will be uh, you can rewrite it like n I wrote this term first and 1 plus n can be written as n plus 1 divided by 2 so answer for 4.3 is C 4.4 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 100 is equal to 2 now we know that our first term is a which is a is equals to 2 we also know that the difference between these two terms and these two terms is exactly equal which is 2 therefore it is an arithmetic progression so our common difference is second term minus first term which is also 2 now by counting you can count the number of terms this is first term second term third term 8 will be the fourth term 10 will be the uh, fifth term and so on and this will be the 50th term one way is to count all the terms to calculate the sum another way is that since this is the last term 
we can calculate the number of terms by using nth term value is equal to a plus n minus 1 d we know that nth term value is 100 is equivalent to a or 2 plus n minus 1 into d if we calculate this uh, 100 minus 2 is 98 is equivalent to n minus 1 2 98 divided by 2 is 49 49 plus 1 is n will be 50 so we know that there are 50 terms 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and so on till 100 and now we have to calculate the sum for sum we know that sum is equal into half into n into a plus l there are two formulas for sum we can calculate any of we can use any of these formulas let us first solve this from this formula half into 50 into 2 plus 100 so uh, 2 plus 100 is 102 102 divided by 2 is 51 and 51 into 50 is equivalent to 2550 on the other hand you can also use the second formula which is s is equals to half into n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d with this formula half into 50 into 2 into a a is our uh, first term plus n minus 1 or 50 minus 1 into d our common difference is 2 half into 50 is 25 2 into 2 is 4 plus 49 into 2 is 90 49 into 2 is 98 98 and 4 is 102 102 into 25 is also equivalent to 2550 4.5 which term of the AP the question states that this is an AP this is the first second and third term which term of the AP is 17 under root of 7 so first of all let us write our first term our first term is 3 over under root of 7 our common difference is second minus first term which is 4 under root of 7 minus 3 under root of 7 which is equal into 1 over under root of 7 now uh, we have to find the, uh, the number of term which term is this 17 under root of 7 our nth term value is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so we know that this value is uh, 17 under root of 7 is equivalent to a a is our first term which is 3 under root of 7 plus n minus 1 n is what we have to find out n minus 1 into d d is 1 over under root of 7 now we have to apply the basic mathematical operations let me solve this over here firstly I will multiply all these terms this this and this term by under root of 7 if we, I multiply 17 under root of 7 by under root of 7 it will be 17 is equals to if I multiply 3 over under root of 7 by under root of 7 it will be 3 plus n minus 1 if I multiply n minus 1 or multiplied by 1 over under root 7 by under root of 7 it will be n minus 1 itself now 17 minus 3 is 14 is equals to n minus 1 and n will be 15 so our answer for 4.5 is 4.5 a now you can try these five questions and i will be solving more questions from the same chapter in my next video thank you for watching this video